Hello and good evening everybody. Welcome back to Mass Effect Trilogy. The Renegade version. Now, I was going to try to finish things up here in the Citadel before I called it quits last time. But I, I was getting late and I was getting really tired. So let's, uh, let's finish things up, shall we? Yeah, sure. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Narali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Foster. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral the respect she deserves. Oh, that's right, yeah, I was, uh, I was here before. No, I know, I just started, I just played Mass Effect uh, recently, but I was only giving you guys a taste of, uh, of the game, the renegade version, I guess. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities make for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? How about you stop stealing corpses? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nirali Bhatia. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime as Mr. Bhatti had no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nirali Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies have this new type of weapon damage, and very few are in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. You know who and what I am. If I want to rally Bacha, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? The Marine's name was Nirali Bhatia. If you want to cut her up, you call her by name. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Mr. Bosker, what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh, I don't know if this helps, but your wife, 
Nirali loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know I miss her games, but thank you. It's nice to hear it again. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. I'm curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? It was a Turian named Septimus who found out your secret. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, his name, anyone could discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startling realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then, not all humans are as you say. always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you, Miss Day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elkor. Frankly, the Elkor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elkor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel. 
and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the L4 groups to the attention of the council. <laughs> they only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Well, the new Earth Clan Spectre. Obviously, you are already lost. Your ambassador is next door. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. I am Din Korlak, Polis Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Yeah, you can stop being so rude. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Polis territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in decisions that affect Citadel space. And for that, we're all glad. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, dear. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or L4 part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Well, that's probably why they don't want you on the council. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Considering your government is always sitting and judging, and the fact that you're not exactly able to protect yourselves and contribute to the uh, the 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 council's sort uh, of like force. The, the, the wonder they favor humans over your species. It's because you have no ships and no soldiers to uh to. to help them in the time of need. It, Tally, where are you? Yeah, 
You're stuck behind the door. I believe the only thing left to do is to go see the consort and then we can uh, we can get out of here but that's uh, the last keeper is over at the dock so I can take care of that when I go there that's our world that's for later that's our world our world our world our world and that's also off ward. Yep, yeah, just gotta go see the concert. And then we can get out of here. And you need to stop scratching your bum. Do you have an itch on your butt you just can't scratch? Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I'm glad I could help. You're too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you're interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, and yielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Chiyura. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elko Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Right, I'm gonna take the rapid, uh, rapid transit because I think I've had both you guys and I have had enough of this place.
remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. We will be coming back uh, to the Citadel eventually, but when we do, I have to try to remember to bring Rex. Just uh, <laughs> that really cool line he has with Executor, Executor Pallet. I think I did it uh, during my first original walkthrough bit. And do the game. <laughs> Come on, Ashley. Uh, there's nothing wrong with embracing your romantic side. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Free to will, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Silver. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren's not going to get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know who's after him. The Conduit. He's got us get scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Loveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs in Loveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop it. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Proteans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a specter now. You don't answer to us. And your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Sarah. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Sarah. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Sarah in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and 
a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living with her. How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Protean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Proteans left behind. We lost all contact with them when they kept attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back, Ratchet. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. So why are people talking like he's still alive? It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. What can you tell me about the ship? I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. I spoke to Kohoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Bane's the next time you see him. See if he'll tell you anything. Is there anything else, Commander? I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. And when he says, I'll be here, it means that he'll be on the Citadel. He's not going to be standing there on the docks the whole entire time. But if I'm ironic, I can see that, uh, that spot right there, that black streak right there. That's the spot where the Collectors first hit the Normandy at the beginning of the Mass Effect 2. <laughs> it's like they marked that spot for a reason. Ah. <sighs> Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. 
Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's over. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. We all know what happened on Eden Prime. We saw the destruction, we saw the bodies, we saw what Saren did. And I plan to make him pay. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Hey! <laughs>